Hello, Mike. Uh, welcome back to the Big Night and Us. This is a kid's family uh, learning English. And today I would like to share something that's really important. And many people ask me how to be fluent in English. And actually, you don't have to be like, nervous in having a fluency because one of the best ways is just you have to deal with English on your daily basis. Like you live your life with English. And I just want to share like a really, really basic things that you can do at home. And one of them is that, okay, I, I think I can share something that is right behind me. Now it's the kitchen. So we can start from the kitchen set or kitchen set. We can just try to mention all of this kitchen set in English. All right. I'll give you a simple example and then you can try this at home. All right. Let's go. Mm -hmm. All right. This is the kitchen that I taught you before. Um, and you can see lots of things that we can mention in English. You can see that the cupboard and see that the cupboard. We got lots of things like the dishes, put the dishes, the cup, the glass, the mug, and many other things. And then still filling with the cupboard. And we've got lots of things um, that's always on the kitchen, such as spatula, spoon, whisk, grater, knife, grinder, chopstick, rolling pin and stuff like that and I want to share some this is the another thing that's inside that we can find here this is the dishes that we can put here full of glasses and then let's see what we can find here and then this is a, a kitchen drawers you can find lot. you can see that lots of spoons inside it we can got the kitchen scissors and there's some knives too um, this is right there's a cup and then see what we got there lots of trays and then some of the boxes okay and we got some some other stuff that support your cooking activities such as is it can be a cook a coffee maker maybe it's a stove that you can cook on it it's an electrical stove and this is a rice cooker and uh, this is a car another coffee maker and then a this a container like you can put all this uh, sugar salt and other seasonings over there there's another this is a blender and then we go here and uh, we've got the sink you can wash your dish here it's a faucet yeah in, in british you can say it's a tap but faucet in, in america so it's a this dryer i got the kettle we've got um dispenser trash can or trash bin and it's a gallon simple as that you don't have to think something like oh i should make a really really difficult word or sentence you just try to ever you just try to do something or things that you do at home try to speak it up in english you can start by thinking and you can just try to pointing out all those things that you can see uh clearly then you can try to mention or pronounce it in english it's really easy because everything is all about habit so i think that's all so i think it's really applicable isn't it so you can try this at home and you can start by mentioning the things around you every single day okay thank you I'm um, cheese.